Hey guys, welcome in this new video. So this time we are talking about ending the year strongly or starting with strong goals that you want to achieve finally. So basically it's based on the 12 week year uh, method. So it's a system helping you to achieve more in 12 weeks than others do in 12 months because you know when you are starting the year in January it's really hard like to maintain your goals throughout the years and having everything set up to support your goals and not forgetting them along the way. So basically what you have to do with the 12 week is starting to define your quarter. So it's for me the quarter of the year mainly and defining your goals. So if you want, uh, I have set up a start here page here that will help you to design everything you need to really set up the system I have creating in Notion and supporting your goals. So the first step is to connect you emotionally with your vision because the emotion are the keys of everything. You may have the motivation the first two weeks, but if you don't like, if you don't be really connected with your goals, you will never achieve them. So I have set up this page for you. So you can describe everything you have in mind, visual, visualize yourself in three months, what you want to really achieve, the place you want to be, what you want to feel, how you want to be in the life, your dream life. Then if we go back to the start here page, the second set uh, step is to, like I told you, define your quarter. So Q4 of this year, Q1, Q2, Q2. Q3, Q4. If you want to have uh, another quarter, you just have to click on the new page here and define the date range here. And add also the week at the bottom of the page. Then if you have made a mistake also, you can just delay them uh, along the way. So you just have to click here and delay it. Then also I have set up different areas of your life. For me, it's health, business, mindset, travel and finance. But you can like rename it if you want by clicking here and waiting here. You can just add another area if you want to. So you just have to name it and then you can just go and move along and also link it to a quarter. Again, if you made a mistake, just click here and click delete. Then you will have to identify uh, your goals. So to make a goal working for you, you have to be really specific, like in time frame. It must be clear, quantifiable and like, like I have put it here, this one is really specific. So gain 10 new clients within the six week. So let's move on to the setup right there so you have personal goal one business goal two travel goal three and it's just example so again you can just click here modified or also just link it to another um, area of your life but if you want you can open up here and like define everything also i have set up this um, question and answer section to help you to define your goal even further and be really more specific like to connect yourself really strongly with your goals and define your before after vision your success cr criteria sorry and also the action plan so I will explain you uh, what's the action plan just below so also if you want to set up more than three goals, um, you can just click here and define your goal here, link into a quarter to an area, like a note, like a really a short snippet of what you want to achieve and like go through the question and answer below. Also, um, what's really important here, I will highly advise you to not set up more than three or four goals if you have too much, you will feel overwhelmed and you won't be able to focus on each goal really because we are like just a certain amount of time during the days, during the weeks, during the 12 weeks 
and what we want to achieve here is to get the most impact so choose only three to four goals and then here is your action plan so let's say your goal was to gain 10 new clients within 12 uh, six weeks so what you have to um, define is what the main steps you will take to achieve this goal it's just between like planning your goals and planning the tasks the action plan will give you like a map to follow something to really be more meaningful when you choose your task planning the day and everything uh, everything else so for example if we take again the um, the example of gaining 10 new clients your action goal would be like to be uh, set up a proper uh, prospection system having uh, the second one having like a really uh, impactful creation content and being more uh, meaningful when I engage with people on Instagram or LinkedIn for example so here is mainly defining all your action plan so if we click here you will also see I have mapped up uh, some questions you have to answer to define even more precisely your action plan and knowing what you have to do, what step to you have to take to achieve your action plan and getting closer to your goal too. And also here you can list all the tasks you have to take to achieve this action plan. If you want, you can uh, it will be automatically added to your action plan. And you have to connect it with the weeks. And then you can have dates if you have something in mind. If not, don't fill it. It will be automatically pop up in the needs to be done later. And you can decide later what you when you want to do it. So it's basically the same for all your goals here. And then you have to prioritize pre your, your task. So um, mainly... Since we have only 12 weeks to achieve uh, all our goals, you be you must be really meaningful again about the task you are doing, not losing time, being really focused on what you want to achieve during these 12 weeks. So, for example, I have added a small example here. So, organizing your Mac is not something really impactful and like important regarding your goal of reaching 10k a month getting new clients so uh, try to really organize your task meaningfully here if if it's something you can wait you can just add a new group and maybe like tag, tag them to be done later or something like this also to be sure to keep you on track you have to establish a uh, accountable and schedule regular reviews too so this will help you to to see what you have achieved what you want to achieve how closer you are to your goals and being really accountable for yourself and finally like reaching your goal again <laughs> so um, i have set up also a page to help you being focused again on your goal like a good personal development question here and then you can just move to plan your task for the day and also each evening you can go through this page again and answer all the questions and also uh, checking up on your routine because the 12 week is all about building also new habits for you for yourself for your business so um, tracking them help you to stay accountable for yourself too and one more thing, so it can be frustrating, but life is so unpredictable. So you have to be flexible with your uh, plan, with your goals, with your tactics. You can adapt them along the way because if you are like too strict with yourself, it won't be able to work. So being focused is a good thing, but having some time off, Taking a good time to rest is really important too during this um, 12 week. So if we go back to the dashboard now, I have designed this all on page. So like I, you can see, you have your goals here, your action plan, your weekly task. So 
So it's from week one to week 12 with some uh, week mantra, which help you to be more like in the move, more connected to your goals again. So if we go back to each page, like I told you, if you have set up a new goal and you are going through this, you can click here. You will see again the question and answer you have. Define your action plan. Then you can go to action plan two, click on the page template here. It will be automatically added to your page. And then you can add, uh, add your task here. And then if we move to week one, again, there is a page template here. And here you will see your daily reflection. So this one that helps you to get focus during the day, starting strongly with some affirmation um, and everything you have in mind, you can just literally write everything here. And at the end of the day, going through the uh, white column. Also here you will find the task you have to do. You can add them easily here. So this one is for today. So I will write my task number one, connect it to an action plan. So let's say it's for my travel action plan A. And I know it has to be done during this week. Then you have also a tab only for today to focus on what really matter today. And if there is anything popping up uh, in your mind that you need to be done in the following weeks, you can just add them here and it will be just here. So you can just write something need to be done later. You can again connect it to an action plan, adding a date if you have something in mind. If not, it's not a problem and need to be done so it will be connected to your action plan. So if your action plan have a date range that need to be done between, for example, the 1st of November and the 15th of November, it will be automatically added. It will help you to define when you have to work on it. And also we have a page, a special page on every Sunday because it's uh, the end of the week. You, have, uh, you are going to plan the next week coming. So here you will get a, a special Sunday page template. So basically it's the same question as your everyday starting day. A tweaking question for the week. So what happened this week? What did you learn? How was your uh, routine? Which habit did work well for you? Which one not? And you can also question yourself how you can do things dif differently to get closer to your goal, to improve your system, to see what's work, what didn't work for you. And here you will get all the tasks you didn't complete. Also the one you set up for later. And then here you will see the uh, task you can do um, the next week and also plan it. And here you can go back to the dashboard, go to pay week two and following along. So everything is properly set up with a correct filter that will help you to just be focused on what you have to do for the week. Also, if you want to just check your habits, you can just like start tracking. If you don't want to do the journaling thing at the, uh, during the day, uh, also here you can find all your journaling information. You can also add it here. If, if uh, you already set up in the um, week page, they will ask you if you have done it. If not, you can continue. It will be automatically added. If you already have done this, you can cancel and you will find your page right there. Uh, and also here, if you want to be just focused on the week, you will have just the week page also. But I really strongly advise you to use this one because each time you open up the page, you will remind you your goals, 
what you want to achieve, what's your action plan for all of your goal, and then you can like be focused on what need to be done of the week here. So again, that's something really easy to use. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comment. Also, I will be adding you the link of the templates at the end um, of the description. And I really hope this one will help you to achieve more in 12 weeks than over in 12 months. So let's get to it.